We're in the second half of Intermediate Vinyasa Fitness AAA Winter Edition. I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyways, that's a bright sweater, so I'm going to take that off. Back to my normal drab wear that you can see against my beige backdrop. Totally did it on purpose. Not really. Sort of. Well, we'll start standing because we're going to do uh, a lot of standing balances today. So feet hip distance apart at first. Come into your body, come into your space. Right away, starting with the arms, inhale, lift the arms all the way up. Nose can lift a little bit and look if you want to, if it wants to. Exhale, arms down, maybe chin to chest. Inhale all the way up, fill your whole body with air. Exhale down. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale down. Adding in a little back bend if you weren't already doing it. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift the nose. A little bit of a back bend at the top. Exhale, arms down, chin to chest, a little rounding in the upper back. Inhale, lift the arms, open, a little back bend. Exhale, arms down, little back round. One more, inhale. And exhale. Coming back to neutral, stretching out the right arm and left leg. Inhale to reach your diagonal. Exhale, a little crunch. See if you can actually get elbow and knee to touch. Again, if they can't, that's okay. Inhale, stretch. But if they can, great. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, stretch. Don't fall. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, stretch. <laughs> that's just me falling over. Don't worry about it. And other side. Left arm up, right leg out. Inhale to stretch. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, stretch. Try and get as long as you can in that diagonal. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, stretch. At least I'm even on both sides. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, big stretch. And back to center. Lift the arms up. Inhale. And exhale. Let the arms come down around the upper back. Same side crunch. Coming onto the right foot. Left arm up. Left leg. Inhale to stretch. Really press out of the standing leg. Exhale, crunch. To the side, to the diagonal, to the front. Doesn't matter. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. One more. Inhale to reach, stretch. Exhale, crunch. Reset with the reach. And then just come down onto that left leg, going to the other side. <laughs> Inhale, reach, right arm, right leg. Exhale, crunch. Inhale to reach, exhale to crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch. Reset with a big reach again. And back to hip distance apart for the legs. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, arms down, a little rounding in the upper back. Going back to center, bringing the arms to a T. Just going to do a couple of uh, rib slides, if you are familiar. So it's like you are, <laughs> you've been cut in half. You've been sawed in half from the magician, and your upper part is moving. Try and keep your hips very, very still. This is just a little bit more uh, fun for the side body, if you can. Just reach, slide your ribs and your arms across. If they're not quite sliding, totally fine. Just imagine that you're in two pieces. Your bottom half is very, very steady. You should be able to feel when you're leaning into the weight, 
your feet, your, the weight distance is, or distribution is going to change a little bit. And that's just going to keep challenging the feet and the adductors a little more. If you are actually leaning full butt, that's also okay. If you can't quite get the root slide, you can totally just seesaw back and forth a little bit. That's totally fine. And then release the arms, a couple of shoulder rolls. And we'll step to the top of the mat. Feet tip distance apart. Again, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And then exhale, bring the arms down. Hands to the mat, knees bent as much as you need to. Take a moment, let your head relax. Maybe nod yes, shake your head no. Some sort of combination of maybe, not sure yet. And on your next inhale, step it back to plank. Shift your weight forward, exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Inhale, little baby cobra lift, front of the head reaching towards the wall, elbows really pulling back. Exhale, release. Inhale to plank. And walk it up on your exhale, keeping shoulders above wrists. Fake handstand. We could, we could, but we won't. We never will until maybe, I don't know, eventually, advanced classes. Engage your glutes, abs, inhale to rise all the way up. Hands overhead, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, fold. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower, elbows close to the rib cage here. Inhale, little baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale to plank. And again, exhale, fake handstand. Walking up slowly, getting shoulders over wrists. Hips getting as close to over top of shoulders as you can, and then feet underneath. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. One more, just like that. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, plank. Exhale, walk it up. Feet underneath you as you come to the top of the mat. Inhale to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Little side stretch here, inhale to lift the arms all the way up, use your left hand to grab right wrist. I'm out of frame, but you get the idea. Little side back. Doesn't technically matter which way you do it first anyway. Inhale to center, switch to grip. Exhale, side bend other way. Inhale, back to center, exhale, ha, arms coming down to the side. I'm going to step back up to my mat because we're going to inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, baby cobra lift. Exhale, release. Inhale to plank. And this time on your exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a moment to stretch out the calves. Gastrocnemius in particular. Maybe a little soleus if you want to try and bend that other knee a little further. You don't have to. And then coming back to still downward facing dog, taking a big breath in here. And a big breath out. And slow walk up to the front of the mat. Again, bringing shoulders over wrists, fingertips, really digging in. Engage your whole hand. Feet come underneath. 
Inhale to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, fold or bend or crouch. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale to plank. And downward facing dog on your exhale. Left heel down. Inhale, lift the right foot up behind you. Exhale, bring it forward, low lunge. Left hand to the mat. Inhale, open up to your twist on your right side, just for a moment. Exhale, right hand to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, baby cobra. Or full cobra if you want to start going for it. Exhale, release. Inhale up to plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. From here, right heel down. Inhale, lift the left foot up behind you. Exhale, step it forward. Right hand stays on the mat. Inhale, open up the left side for a twist. And exhale, hand to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, baby cobra, or coming up to practice more of a full cobra, totally up to you. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Walk up to the front of your mat, shoulders over top of wrists, maybe hips over top of shoulders, maybe not. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale to lift the arms up. Grab one wrist. <laughs> exhale, side bend over to whichever, whichever way is pulling. That was terrible. Inhale through center, switch your grip. Exhale, side bend the other way. It really doesn't matter which way you go first. Inhale to center. Exhale, release the arms. Back to the front of the mat if you weren't already there. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Right away, exhale, downward facing up. Left heel down. Inhale, lift the right leg behind you. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. Inhale, lift the right arm up. And exhale, bring the back of your right hand towards your lower back or left side plank. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, bring it down to the mat. Inhale through plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, whichever cobra version you like. As long as your shoulders are back and down. Exhale, release it. Back down to the mat. Inhale through plank. <clears throat> Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel down to the mat. Inhale, lift the left foot up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, open up left side twist. Exhale, back of left hand to lower back or right side flank. If you can reach, I don't know if you can see my fingers there. I can kind of see them. Okay. Inhale, open up. <laughs> Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, whichever cobra you like. Chest reaching forward, shoulders down. Exhale, release back down to the mat. Inhale through plank to your downward facing dog as you exhale. And walk up to the front of the mat again. Same thing as before, handstand version, no handstand. Take out. Inhale to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. And your knees, swing your arms to reach as you inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Oh, 
Oh. Inhale to plank. Right away, exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel down, inhale, lift the right foot up behind you. Exhale, bring it all the way forward. This time, high lunge, inhale as you come up. Find your high lunge. Just find the stretch in your left hip flexors. Find your balance, also a good idea. Really reach with the arms. On your next inhale, maybe a slight back bend, look up at the nose. And exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank, and right away, exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel down, inhale, with the left foot up. Exhale, step forward. Same thing on this side, inhale to come up to your high lunge, and just find your lunge today. Find your hips, find your knees, find your glutes, find your adductors. They're there, they're working, I promise. Inhale, reach with the arms and the fingers, maybe a little back bend. And exhale, hands to the mat. And inhale to plank. And this time, exhale, lower. Inhale, whichever cobra you like. Tricep snap, exhale, release to the mat. Inhale, through your plank to your downward facing dog as you exhale. And again, walk slowly up to the front of the mat. Coming feet underneath. And inhale to rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Should be getting warm, so we'll go through our pattern. Inhale, swing the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. And yeah, exhale to lower. Inhale, whichever cobra version you like. Exhale, release. Inhale through your plank as you exhale to downward facing dog. Left heel down, inhale, lift the right foot up behind you. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Side lunge at the back of your mat. Inhale, bring your arms forward as you come into your side lunge. I'm just rocking on that heel because I'm lazy, but you can totally shift your feet. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. You don't have to lift your leg for this one. We're just, just stepping. Next time, we will lift to Eka Padasana. Next time, Gadget. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, whichever cobra you like. Half cobra, full cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, through your plank. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel down, inhale with the left foot up behind you. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge to the back of your mat. This time I'm going onto that right leg. Hands come forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, just step to the front of the mat again. My arms are already up, but that's okay. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower all the way down. Inhale, coming up to cobra if you can. From here, making sure if you're having a good cobra, if your shoulders are back, and down, if you're really feeling that engagement uh, coming through in the pubic bone, in the legs area, you can try and tuck your toes under next time and go for upward facing dog, not this time. That's okay. Release back down to the mat as you exhale, theoretically. 
Inhale through plank to your downward facing dog. Left heel down, inhale, lift the right foot up behind you. Exhale, step right foot forward. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge at the back of the mat. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to high lunge. And this time as you exhale, step it up to the front, left leg kicks forward. Left leg down, arms down, ha, walk it out, shake it out, twist it out, shout it out, whatever you're doing. Rave it out, club it out, pop it, twist it, anyways. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. How do I get anything? Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale up to cobra. Or if you're already on upward facing dog, congrats, I forgot. Exhale to lower. Inhale to plank. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Right heel to the mat. Inhale, lift the left foot up behind you. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge at the back of your mat. Arms coming forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, high lunge. And exhale, Ekha Padasana, step forward, kick out the right heel. And lower the right leg, lower the arms. Water break. Because I remembered water again. Okay, back to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold your mat. Inhale to plank. Right away, lift the hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel down. Inhale, lift the right foot up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale to high lunge. Pause here. So really feeling that high lunge. If you need to. You might need to step your back leg in. We're going to tap it down to the mat. But you might want to step in a little bit. Totally up to you. Keep the arms reaching tall. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale to reach the arms. Exhale. Tap your back knee down. Doesn't actually have to hit the mat. It can just get close. Inhale again as you rise. Inhale to reach. Exhale. Tap. <sighs> Inhale to rise. One more. Exhale to tap. Inhale to rise. Exhale, warrior two. Now straightening the front knee. Inhale, just to straighten. Exhale, back into warrior two. Keeping the arms really steady here. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Three side lunges on the back. If you figured out the pattern already, it's three. Of course it is. Inhale, coming into side lunge. Exhale to warrior two. Or you can just come out of side lunge and just have feet parallel. Totally up to you, whichever version you're doing. Keeping the arms up, though. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two or out of side lunge. And take the inhale to come into lunge. And just come straight back out as long as the arms come out to the side to your nice star position. Whichever version you were in, we're all going to end up back in our warrior two. <sighs> Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, Ika Padasana at the front of your mat. Really kick out that left foot. Try and hit the wall opposite you. You won't actually. That's fine. Lower the leg, lower the arms. <sighs> Maybe some shoulder rolls if the arms are already starting to feel it. And then we do the other side because we have to keep it even. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale to lower. Inhale, whichever cobra version you are happy with today. Exhale, lowering it back down. Inhale to plank. 
And exhale through to your downward facing dog. Right heel to the mat, lift your left foot up behind you. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, coming up to that high lunge. And exhale, tap your knee down to the mat. Inhale to reach. Exhale to tap. Inhale, reach, really stretch out that back leg. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, warrior two. You can also just pause here in warrior two if you don't feel like doing the rest of it. Just keeping the arms up. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale to bend. Inhale, straighten. This can be a lot for the hips, so if you need to shorten your stance, absolutely do so. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Three side lunges on the right leg now. Inhale, come into side lunge. Exhale, warrior two or star shape. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge at the back of your mat. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale through your high lunge to Eka Padasana as you exhale at the front of your mat. Kick out your right foot. <sighs> Straighten the knee if you can. Shaking is fine. <laughs> and release the right leg, release the arms, roll the shoulders. Ooh. Gonna get into a little bit more balancing. Gonna start bringing back the warrior three right at the end. So we'll go through it again. And just add. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, whichever cobra your heart desires. Exhale to the mat. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel to the mat. Inhale, the right foot up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, tap your back knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach. Find that stretch in the left hip flexor. Exhale to warrior two. Keeping the arms out here now. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale to bend. This one's just kind of relaxing. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Make sure your shoulder blades are stable. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Side lunge to the back of the mat. Shift position of feet if you need to. I was a little off there. Inhale, coming into side lunge. Arms coming forward, wiping the counter. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two, or just your standard star. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, star, or warrior two. Inhale, to high lunge. Exhale, Eka Parasana, the front of your mat. Stretch out your left leg. And then swinging through to warrior three. So getting the left leg out behind you. Reaching from left heel to hands, keeping the lower ribs tucked in. And coming as far down as you feel comfortable. This is where the chair would come in handy in front of you, if you need it. I know I'm definitely unstable on this hip, so I'm not gonna come all the way down, but see where you're at. Just try and find that balance point, really reaching out of right leg. No need to do any twists. You can hold onto the wall. You can hold onto the chair, a block, if you're, if you're actually coming down to that level, totally cool. And when you feel like you're done with it, back to stand. Oh. Other side, inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Keep your knees as bent as you need to. No, no lower back pain here. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, cobra goes to sleep. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right heel to the mat, inhale, left foot up. Exhale, step it forward. 
Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. Inhale to reach. Exhale to tap. Inhale, reach. Stretch the right hip flexors. Exhale, warrior two. Keeping the shoulder blades stable. Inhale, straighten the front knee. Exhale to bend. Inhale, straighten front knee. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And fix your feet if you need to for your side lunges. Inhale, rocking back on that right foot. Arms coming forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge. Exhale, warrior two, or, or your star stance. Inhale, side lunge. Everybody exhales and ends up in warrior two. Inhale through high lunge. And exhale, step it forward, kick out the right foot. And let the right foot come out behind you. Warrior three on this side. Again, just testing out where you're at. You don't have to come all the way down. And just see. You can really find a straight leg at the back. Right heel through both hands, connection. And then stepping to the front of the mat, letting the arms come down, a couple shoulder circles. Fixing your mat if you need to, if your mat keeps sliding for some reason. It's gotta be reason. You don't know. And then we go through it again. But this time a little bit slower and a little less. Just a little less until the end. Inhale, swing the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale to plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, sleepy cobra. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel down, inhale, lift the right foot up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge. Right away, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge. At the back, your mat hands come forward. Reach forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, through high lunge. Exhale, ikapadasana. Kick out their left leg. Whichever leg that is. And then coming through your warrior three. Find your warrior three first. Get comfortable, be like, ooh, I found it. And then we're gonna put the left leg down, coming back into high lunge. Inhale, find your reach. And exhale, hands to the mat. This time, inhale to plank. Chaturanga push up, only lower halfway down. Elbows coming about to the rib cage, press back up. Upward facing dog if you want to. So leaning forward or shifting your weight forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, really straighten the arms coming into that potential cobra position. Knees and hips will be off the floor. From here, really engage your core as you exhale. Lift the hips, shift your weight a little bit forward before you shift it back to come to your downward facing dog. If you didn't like that, you can totally do the regular vinyasa bit with the cobra. But that's the upward facing dog version. Right heel down, inhale, up the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side lunge at the back of your mat. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale through high lunge. Exhale, ikapadasana, kick out the right leg. And swing it back through to your warrior three. Again, just find that comfortable point. And then setting the right foot down behind you. Inhale to high lunge. Exhale, hands to the mat. 
Inhale to plank, one chaturanga push up here. Exhale, lower half, way down. Inhale, press back up. And then exhale, lower half, way down, or all the way. Coming to upward facing dog or your cobra. Lifting the hips from upward facing dog all the way to your downward facing dog. We're now coming through plank and then meeting me in downward facing dog. Either way. From your down dog, shift forward to plank. Side plank on the right, so pick whichever version you like. It can be on your fist, can be on your forearm, as long as shoulders over top of wrist, stacked joints. Lift your left arm, maybe look up. Realize you ate too much for yoga again. I have a problem. <laughs> if you need to offset, absolutely. <laughs> Put your top leg in front, make yourself a isosceles triangle. And I forgot to count, so we'll just switch to the other side. As usual, whichever version you did on the first side, Take the second side. I made an isosceles triangle, I think, or scaly triangle. So I'm going to do it again. Still pressing away from the mat from your supporting arm. With a little bit of that external rotation. And then coming through to regular plank. Knees to the mat, walk, crawl through to sitting. a little boat. We haven't done a little boat in a while. Hands just underneath knees if you need to, just for a little support, coming into baby boat, dinghy, perhaps, life raft, tube, whatever boat version you want. If you want to start straightening one knee, the other one, you can. You don't have to. Maybe letting the arms go. Whichever boat you like, as long as your lower back feels okay, belly button is pulling in towards the lower spine, chest is lifted. If your boat looks like this, it's not very seaworthy. Boat wants to be here. At least here. Maybe wants to be here. Mine does not. Mine does not like that. Okay. And then we'll rock back to light up. Lifting both legs up. This time, yes, both legs shall be straight if they can. Uh, point your flex toes, totally up to you. Gonna lower that right leg. Same ab business we've done before, so pick what level you want. Just want the right leg down and everything else on the ground, you absolutely can. If you want a little more, lift your head, shoulders, arms, and hold steady. Still feeling the reach through both legs. Don't want to get lazy in the legs. Feeling the reach in the fingers and the arms if they're up. And then lowering limbs, grabbing behind that left leg. If you have a strap, you can absolutely grab it now for a little hamstring stretch. Oh, I didn't do the resistance today. That's fine. And then if you want to use your strap for an adductor stretch out to the side, you absolutely can. Or you can bend the knee and do a little reclined half bound angle. Just letting that leg Relax out to the side. Just breathe for a moment. And then we'll switch. So bringing that left leg back up through center, both legs straight out in front of you or above you. Technically would be above. And lowering left leg as much as you feel comfortable. Lifting whichever other limbs you want to lift, if you want to lift them. Really focusing on keeping legs as straight as possible. Imagining that band around your stomach like a big thick belt 
tightening right in here. Make sure your stomach's not all popping up in the middle because that means rectus abdominis is overworking. You want to get transverse abdominis. Try and keep a flatter stomach if you can. You'll feel it. You'll feel if you're overworking the wrong muscles. You'll be like, wow, my muscles are right here instead of here. And we're going to keep lower back a little bit flat against the ground just so it's not arching, not coming up. Re-engaging that core, every contraction at the end of your exhale you should get that feeling the whole time. And then lowering left leg, grabbing behind right leg, hamstring stretch. Lowering head, shoulders, relax. Grabbing the strap over top of this foot if you have it, if you want to. And then maybe coming out with the strap to do a little stretch on this side or bending the knee, reclined half bound angle on this side. And breathe. Big sighs out the mouth. Hands can be holding onto your strap or on the ground or on top of your abdomen, feeling your breath. And then bringing right leg back in. Left leg coming in as well. Both legs straight up in front of you. Just a couple of leg lifts here. If you want to, you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to tuck my hands, palms facing down underneath my hips for a little stabilization for my lower back. Because I've got problems there. Inhale to lower the legs any amount you want to. Try and keep them straight, but they don't have to be straight. They can absolutely be bent. Exhale, lift the back up. If you want to inhale, flex the feet, bring the heels almost all the way down to the floor. And then exhale, really bring your lower abdomen to the ground, bring your belly button to the ground as you inhale. For exhale, bring your legs back up. Two more, inhale to lower. Exhale, raise the legs. And imagine you're only using your abdominals. Hip flexors are going to work, but imagine you're only using your abdominal muscles. One more time. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. And then hug your knees in towards your chest, maybe a couple of knee circles. We can rock back and forth. Take your time with this part here, or you can rock up to squat. You know we're getting there. Roll into Malasana. Might be replacing chair as my favorite move to be honest. Just rocking for the spine. No need to do a full plow here. But coming up to your yogi squat whenever you are happy. Maybe your spine feels happy enough with the rocking. Again, finding that pressure a little bit, the elbows and the knees, a little bit of that lift in the pelvic floor as though you want to rise up. Just finding that little engagement, fingertips together. Uh, fingers can be together or spread apart. Anjali Mudra, they're usually spread out a little bit. A little bit of pressure in the fingertips. Just to prevent keeping all of the pressure from ending up in the palms and the wrists of the hand. And breathe. From here, you can hang out in Malasana if you want to. Leave your friends behind. You bring your hands down to the mat. We're going to walk the feet out. So we're going to 
come up to horse pose from here. So I'm gonna do it like an awkward goblin because that's what I am. Uh, if you can find a more graceful way to do it, absolutely. You might we need to come up and lift your hips first, find your footing and then come back down into your squat. Uh, you might need to come all the way up, find your footing and come down into your squat. Either way, Awkward Goblin says we are doing horse pose. So come on up. Try and see if you can actually get hips in line with knees. It looks like I'm perfectly flat all the way out, I'm sure, but I'm not. So don't worry about it. Chest lifted, abs engaged. Adductors are going to be working really hard here. So our hamstrings, our quads, arms can be wherever arms need to be. In front is probably easier just to help offset a little bit of that weight. Uh, if the arms are out, chest is going to want to come too far forward. So maybe a little bit back so you can lean a little bit back. Try and get your shoulders over top of hips. I'm gonna do palms up because I like it. And just hold <laughs> as best as you can. A few more breaths and then we'll rise up. So if you need to rise up and take a break, absolutely. If your feet are slipping because you still don't know where your chalk is. <laughs> And on your next inhale, really gather your strength, gather your energy, exhale, rise up. Shifting the feet to point forward or just a little bit out, hands to hips, rotate your pelvis coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Shift your weight a little bit forward to the balls of the feet or rather the base of the first big toe of either foot. And if you can, hands to the mat. Maybe let your head relax. Keep that rotation in the pelvis so that the back is not working. Again, if you're not coming quite all the way down, this is a great place to have someone previously mentioned to you to have a block or a chair here to lean on. <laughs> Next class, because we're going to do this again. Really feeling that stretch in hamstrings. You might feel it in adductors or calves too. And from here, Awkward Goblin is going to head back to Malasana. So however you chose to get into wide-legged forward fold, just do your reverse. I'm just going to bend and come right through. Awkward Goblin style. Scoop in. Because that works for me. You can just sit right down and then come back to Malasana. You can stand and head back into it. You can fall and roll back into it. However you end up here, feel that stretch in the adductors, maybe using the arms to give yourself a little bit more stretch. And then bringing the hands together. Oh, look, I'm a little further apart now. My palms don't wanna to come together. So I'm gonna do this version instead. Palms facing forward. Maybe taking a little hand mudra here. Uh, I'm gonna choose Prithvi. So fourth finger to thumb, personally, the other fingers are gonna stretch out. And I'm gonna turn hands towards me. <sighs> Prithvi is excellent for grounding, which I need today. <sighs> you can do forefinger and thumb. A little more peace and zen in your life. And from here, if you would like, you can hang out in Malasana, you can do another stretch if you want to, or you could practice crow because we're right here, hands coming down to the mat. And whichever version you want to, if you want to get your knees all the way up at your armpits, or if you're at the stage of getting knees uh, at the elbows, awkward goblin will turn to the side. I'm going to do knees and armpits. Really spreading the fingers, rounding in the upper back. My upper back doesn't really move, so I'm rounding in my middle back. Please ignore it and imagine that I'm rounding in my upper back. And rocking forward, looking just above the hands or just in front of the hands, seeing if you can use that shelf of your upper arm to lift the feet, perhaps. You don't have to lift up. You just lift one foot. The other foot. Play around. Just really keeping those arms engaged, fingers spread wide using fingertips. 
Well, maybe crow, maybe bacchus. And then settling back down. Coming to all fours. If the arms are warmed up enough, we're heading into push-ups. Yay! This time we're gonna do five. If you can, if you can't, do three or two or one or none, which however many push-up you want. I'm gonna try to do five for the rest of the class weeks. Gotta make it harder on myself. I'm still gonna do the same versions though. So first narrow arm push-up, basically chaturanga push-up. If you wanna do the full version from plank, you absolutely can. I'm putting my knees down because I wanna do five. Only coming halfway down. Inhale, bringing the elbows towards your cage. Exhale, pressing away. Inhale, coming down. Shoulders are back. Exhale, press away. Inhale, pressing down, keeping that abdominal engagement the whole time. Exhale, press away. You can stop or join me for two more. Inhale to lower. Exhale to rise. Inhale to lower. Exhale to rise. Taking a moment, coming back onto the feet, maybe tucking the toes under, rocking back onto the heels to stretch. A couple shoulder rolls. Or big arm circles. Otherwise, you really need to buy a new yoga mat. It's funny, you may have actually just had it. <laughs> Wide arm push ups. I'm doing them again from all fours position. Make sure your thumbs are coming in at a roughly 45 degree angle. Wrists are going to stay in line with elbow. No funny hand twisting. Not waving at people in push ups. Never wave. 45 degree angle for me coming in on all fours. Inhale to lower down, watching the angles of your wrists. Exhale, rise. I'm actually going to move my hands a little bit further in. There we go. Inhale to lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower. I just keep shifting and adjusting my hands. Exhale, rise. That's three. So if you're done, great. If you want to do two more, I'm still going to keep adjusting myself. Maybe I'm going to actually do this from forever knee position. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Rock it back again on the heels. Toes can be under or toes can be flat. Totally up to you. Couple of shoulder circles. And then coming into our tricep push ups, finding your triangle base. The thumbs coming together, point your fingers coming together, making a nice triangle here. Spreading the fingers wide. Oops. Losing headbands. I really need my headband because I did not brush my hair today. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I ever know? That's a good question. Okay, tricep. Three or five or four or two. I'm gonna do five. Here we go. Inhale to lower. Exhale, raise. Push away. Inhale, lower. Watching the wrist. Exhale, push away. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push away. If you're with me, inhale, lower. Exhale, push away. Inhale, one more. I don't even want to be with me. Wow, exhale, push away. <laughs> Rocking back on the heels, this time stretching out for a child's pose, breathing into your lower back. <sighs> and turning the palms to face up and bending the elbows to bring in the palms towards shoulders. Tricep stretch here. You can absolutely walk your elbows a little bit more forward if you want to. And then settle your hips back just to give you a little bit more of a shoulder stretch here. Give them a little tuck action. Hip release. Ah. And then release the arms. Slowly coming up. Cow facing pose. We're going to do the arms and the legs. So it's time coming into a sitting position. Left leg underneath. Remember to flex 
your toes back towards your knee. You don't want to point your toes here. You want to make sure they're a little flex. Left leg under, right leg over the top, flex the toes. See if you can stack knees on top of each other and make sure both hips are on the ground. I am close enough. Inhale, lifting the arms to T. Exhale, right hand up, left hand to lower back. See if you can get them to meet. Chest staying tall. You can lift your nose a little bit if you want to, just so that you know you're not letting your chin hang down. Fingers meet, fantastic. If they don't, also great. Breathe into your hips, breathe into your shoulders. And then release the arms as you inhale to a T. And let the arms come down to the mat. Or hands, rather, hands to the mat. Unravel the legs and we'll switch. This time, right leg coming underneath. Flex your toes as you bring the right heel to the outside of the left hip. And left leg comes over top, trying to get your left knee on top of the right knee, making sure both hips are on the ground. I'm really good at my right and left today. Look at me go. Inhale to T. And exhale, right hand to the lower back, left hand up. If you're doing this the opposite way as me, that's also fine. There's, you know, no full consensus on which arm is supposed to go first or which time. Technically, right side is supposed to go first, but, you know. Breathe, lift your chest. Notice if this side is considerably more difficult than the first. And then don't worry about it. On your next inhale, release the arms, bring them to a T. And then hands to the mat. Unwind the legs, coming to cobbler's pose. Flap your butterfly wings. This one always makes me happy. Our own wants to be a butterfly. Butterflies are beautiful and useful. Spreading nectar. And then let your butterfly wings drop. Pull yourself towards your toes, rotating the pelvis, not bending from the lower back. And chest a little bit lifted. And then if you feel like you want to today, maybe bringing the hands out in front and doing a fold over the feet. You can bring your elbows to the insides of your feet as well, just a little pressure. Thanks, feet. We can do as much one leg as we're actually planning on today. So next time. I'll try to remember next class. I don't know why I bother lesson planning at all, really. Okay, coming up. <laughs> coming to our wide-legged stance, you know what we're doing. Find your wide legs. Find your grounding with the backs of the thighs, the rotation of your pelvis as you lean forward, the really engage hamstrings, engage adductors. They're gonna be working first. Hands together, Anjali Mudra, if you like, or you can take another mudra, which you really want. I'm going to take Anjali Mudra. So just feel easy. Hands can be at hips, if you want them to be. Hands can also be gently on the floor, just for a little bit of balance, as long as you're not leaning on them yet. There's enough pressure from the backs of the thighs to really lift your whole spine. And then bringing hands down to the mat and relax into your stretch. Walk your hands forward if you like. Maybe come on to elbows. Hang 
like I'm doing the opposite this class that I usually do. Usually I say I'm going to take it easy and then I'm like just lose myself. <laughs> Today I was like we're going to be real tough and then I feel like I just like chilled out which is sometimes what we need <laughs> to be the opposite of ourselves. I will try to deliver next class. She says, knowing full well, she will probably not. Coming up slowly out of your stretch. Back to a cross-legged position. Take three cleansing breaths here. Lion's breaths, if you like, but not necessary. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, rise the arms, raise the arms. Exhale. One more big inhale. And exhale. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice today. I will try to remember what I'm supposed to do next time, but no promises. Stay warm, stay safe, and stay hydrated. <laughs>